In this video, I will demonstrate how to link SAP transaction scripts, which have been created using Inaware's Process Runner, and then embed the scripts into an Excel file so that Excel becomes an interface to SAP. Here I have four sets of data for four sales orders that I need to create. This is gonna be for the transaction code VA01. If I scroll over here, at the end of this file, there's actually a column, column V, where the sales order for number from SAP will write, and then we'll utilize that sales order number to execute the second script, which will be for VL01N, which is to create outbound delivery. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna bring up Process Runner. Here I have the two scripts that I wanna to link together, as well as embed in the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to double click on this first script here for VA01. Now I've taken into the different menu options. I'm going to go to this advanced tab here. From here, I'm going to go to this process connection section. I'm going to click on enable connection. Now I'm going to click on this folder here and I'm going to select the process file that I would like to link to the VA01, which will be the VL01N process file. I'm just gonna to go to desktop where I have that process file there. All right, now you can see on the left side here that these two process files or scripts are linked together. Now I'm just gonna save this and now I want to embed the scripts that are linked together into the Excel spreadsheet that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna click on this drop down here. I'm gonna select Save as Excel Add-in Ready File. Once I do this, you can see that the Excel file path is automatically pre-filled for me. It's gonna go right into that Excel spreadsheet that I showed you earlier. I'm just gonna go down here and click this Generate button. I get the pop-up that it's going to flicker as it's being created. And now that it's set, now it says the Excel file is ready to be used with Process Runner Excel add-in. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And now I'm just going to minimize Process Runner. And let's take a look at this Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go to this Process Runner Excel add-in tab here. Once I click on this, now currently I'm not showing any process files. I'm just going to go to the settings button and click refresh here. All right, so there you can see I have the VA01 process file. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go to the settings here. And I'm just going to modify this name a little bit here, make it easier for my end user to recognize. And I'm gonna uncheck this hide all follow-up processes here. I'm gonna click okay now and we'll close this. And now you can see it states VA01 create sales order and it also shows that VL01N follow-up process file as well. Now that this is all set, I'm gonna go ahead and run both of these transactions now. I just simply click on the run button here. Now this is actually going to execute both process files. First the VA01 will execute and then it'll be the VL01N. First, I need to log into an SAP system across my SAP landscape. Notice that I could select from basically any SAP system in my landscape. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a password here. Now you're going to see a run status on the first process file, followed by the run status on the second process file. Notice that I'm doing everything now right from Excel. Since I embedded the process files into this Excel spreadsheet, Excel now is my interface to SAP. And so I'm not having to navigate SAP to do any of these transactions. There, you can see that the sales order has been created. And we'll let this finish out and then it'll execute the VL01N script.
There you can see, again, the SAP messaging is getting written to the Excel spreadsheet for the second script. All right, now that this is completely finished out, let's go ahead and look, take a look in SAP. We have this nice uh, hyperlink here. I have this show in SAP GUI. This will take me right into SAP. It just lets me verify that that order has been created. And now let's also take a look at the delivery order. And there you can see the outbound delivery has also been created. So this has been a demonstration of how to link process files that were created utilizing Inawera's process runner, and then to embed those process files inside of an Excel spreadsheet, enabling an end user to utilize Excel as an interface to SAP. Thank you for watching.